morning everybody. Today I'm going to see if I can make delivering cattle to our butcher somehow interesting. I got five head to go get. As you can see I don't have a trailer yet. So let's go get the trailer. It's a quarter till seven. So yeah I should be out of here in time. Let's see if we can make something interesting on this. All right here they are five of them. Let's go boys, nice and easy like. Come on. Come on. And there they are. Five loaded. Didn't get any video loading because, well, need two hands a lot of the time, so. Now just a quick hundred mile drive to drop them off. So I know a lot of you are thinking, that was a tiny little pin you just loaded them calves out of. And you're right. It, it was a tiny pen that's because we just put them there last night where they could still have access to food and water but where it was easy to load out of where they were at it was really hard to load out of by yourself where they were at was a pen that was designed for about a hundred head there was ten total calves in there I took five to the butcher on Tuesday today's Thursday I'm taking the other five so ten head and a pen designed for a hundred head so they had a lot of room they got the standard ration like all the other cattle do that we mix up in our feed trucks every day but on top of that they also each got a five gallon bucket of corn maybe even a bucket and a half so they've been living the good life for the last couple of months taking it real easy taking it nice having all that room in that pen so don't worry we didn't have five huge steers in that tiny little pen the whole time. All right, so I know some of you might be thinking by now, this is this is kind of a sad video. You're taking these cattle to the butcher. I don't look at it that way. I look at this as being a good day. There are eight families that one month from all, six weeks from now, are gonna have a freezer full of meat. That's gonna provide protein for that family for the next year. And with all this pandemic stuff going on and the people panic buying, and all of that craziness, these people have peace of mind knowing I have a locally sourced beef in my freezer to provide for us while everyone is panic buying at Walmart or Sam's Club or Safeway or King Supers or whatever the grocery stores are called in your state because I know every state is different other than Walmart. These families have that peace of mind knowing I don't have to worry about beef. I don't have to worry that the beef is going to sell out and I'm going to have to buy one of the substitute products that's grown in a lab full of all kinds of different chemicals. I've got locally raised beef. And that is one hell of a thing to me. So another little tidbit I wanted to add in here. If you think animal agriculture is inhumane, but you're one of the Colorado residents that just voted to willingly bring a wolf pack into the state. I don't want to hear anything from you about how inhumane we are. Because if you just voted to reintroduce the wolves into Colorado, which is a redundant question anyways, because it's been proven we already have a wolf pack in Colorado. There have been kills on livestock confirmed by veterinarians that they are wolf kills. But the state of Colorado just voted, let's bring more wolves in. So if you are one of the people who voted for that, I do not want to hear a word from you about how inhumane animal agriculture is. Because you just voted to support the brutal slaughter of horses, cattle, and hogs. And if you doubt me, just Google wolf kills of cattle, horses, or hogs. Tell me that is a humane way for these animals to go. At least going to the butcher or a meat plant, it is over quickly. They don't feel anything. Temple Grandin has spent her whole life designing these things to make it as humane and painless as possible. And yet Colorado just voted to bring wolves in. Wolves are not gentle when they take an animal down. That animal is going to suffer for hours, possibly, while it is slowly disassembled. 
So if you voted for that, don't even bother commenting on this video and telling me how inhumane we are for having livestock as part of our operation. All right, so I just got the five head dropped off. Got order stuff confirmed with them. Everything's good to go there. Just swung by the gas station here in town. Picked up some chicken for breakfast, because why not? With a little monster energy drink. Now for the 100 mile drive home. Go see what the plan is for the rest of the day. Talk to you guys later.